All right, full forecast time. Michael is back. So it was going to maybe snow quite on, kind of a lot on Friday, but then maybe it wasn't going to snow. And now are we still kind of like maybe? Yeah, ish? you know, <laughs> I'm just not impressed, Lee. Yeah. Well, I, I'm sorry. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> I'm new at this. Oh, not me. No, no, you're not doing okay. great. You're doing great. It's Whew, these storms. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah. All right, phew, don't worry. Much better. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on across the country before we talk about what's going on here. And the reason that I bring this up is because a lot of the national headlines over the last four or five days have been talking about the cold snaps through the south central U.S. And we still have winter storm warnings ongoing through parts of Texas into Louisiana and all the way up the Mississippi Valley into uh, parts of Kentucky and then, of course, the Appalachians. That's all weather that's going to eventually affect us, but I don't think it's going to be quite as extreme by the time it gets here. This is a pretty weak system. It is uh, trended to be less impressive the, the closer that we get to it. February snow so far still running slightly below average, but you know what? Within a half inch, we'll call it about average in Portland and Bangor. Caribou slightly above now, and that's all thanks to the snow that fell earlier this week. We've got a little bit of snow on the way once we get into the day tomorrow. You can actually see some of that to our south here. But if we zoom further south, this is where all the action is right now. There's actually some heavy snow that's mixed in through parts of northern Virginia near Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, and then north into Pennsylvania, especially through the Poconos. And all of this is moving right toward us. But by the time it gets here, I'm really just not that impressed by it. We've got clouds increasing through the day today, expecting at least some sunshine out there this morning. We'll keep the sun around through northern Maine all day today. Breaks of sun elsewhere, especially through uh, central Maine. Southern Maine, I think, is overcast through the afternoon. And then tonight, everybody ends up under cloud cover, except for far northern sections. Caribou by tomorrow, by this evening rather, Still uh, enjoying some clear skies, which will allow the temperatures near Caribou to fall into the single digits, maybe even near zero, whereas southwestern sections start to see that moisture move in ahead of this next system, keeping low temperatures in the low to mid 20s. So a big spread in temperature expected across the state overnight tonight. And then we've got some snow showers on the way. They begin overnight and last through the day tomorrow. These are just going to be periods of light snow, maybe some steadier snow in southwestern Maine for the morning commute. That's the biggest concern that I see. But otherwise, this is just kind of a long duration, low impact event. Notice that for forecast snow totals, we cut off right around Millinocket. North of that, I don't think we'll see much at all. Otherwise, a coating to an inch south of that for Bangor, Lewiston, Augusta, one to three inches for the mid coast and most of the down east coastline too. Portland, one to three inches, three to six inches for York, Kittery and the Berwicks. And that's really about it. This entire system will move away from us as we get into the afternoon hours on Saturday. We could wrap with just a few more snow showers around on Saturday. And then after that, we've got another weak system on Monday. So Monday, Tuesday time frame, we'll be watching another little storm try to develop. And this one, depending on the track, could be a bit of a mix. We don't really have that Arctic influence. So I don't think that we'll be talking about big snow to start off the work week either. Sorry, snow lovers. This just uh, has not been the stretch of storms for you. Seas today around two feet, north wind five to 10 knots with gusts to 20 knots, especially in the afternoon. Light snow tomorrow with lingering, lingering flurries on Saturday, and then some snow showers inland on Monday at the coastline. I'm leaning toward a mix light mixed showers on Tuesday. And Lee, take a look at this forecast high temperatures back into the low to mid 40s for next week. Yeah, you don't have to tell me. I'm legit staring at that 43 right now going, all right, we're, we're, we're creeping in the right direction. Yeah, so, I, I told right. my barber that yesterday. He was pretty psyched. Yeah, 43, that's like sun sunbathing. All right, thank you, sir.